Hi everyone. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to upgrade your Azure database from MySQL single server to flexible server. But hey, why really upgrade your Azure database from MySQL single server to flexible server? Well, the reasons are twofold. First, Azure database for MySQL flexible server is our flagship offering for your MySQL workloads offering you maximum control and flexibility with your databases, increase and improved uptime with the ability to spin up a hot standby in the same or different zone, and more ways to optimize your costs with stop, start, and burstable capabilities. The second reason being us putting the Azure database for MySQL single server on the retirement path. Microsoft opened its heart to MySQL workloads in 2018 when we went live with our single server offering. But since then, we've heard your feedback and we've evolved the capabilities in the computation, scalability, performance, and availability pillars. With all these significant improvements, we've come at a junction where the single server needs to be retired and upgraded with a new architecture. That is the Azure database for MySQL flexible server. The Azure database for MySQL single server is set to be retired on 16 September 2024. Going forward, no new version upgrades or feature releases are planned for the single server. The next set of investments and feature releases will all be focused towards a flexible server so that we can bring you the best of Azure's open source database platform. Change is hard, but fret not. We are here to stand by you and make sure that this upgrade is a seamless experience for you. Let's quickly take a look at the tooling cheat sheet that can help you upgrade from single to flexible server. Using Azure Data Migration Service, or as we call it fondly DMS, you can now use the online migration scenario to perform an online migration with near zero downtime. It will not only do the initial load for you, but also stream any bin lock changes to your target flexible server. The second option that you have with DMS is performing an offline migration, and you can migrate up to one TB databases seamlessly. Let's quickly jump to the demo and see how you could use the online migration with the Azure database migration service and quickly upgrade your single server to flexible server. To perform an online migration using Azure database migration service, you essentially need a DMS migration service. For example, I am on my own Azure database migration service. Uh, the other two prereqs would be having your source single server and creating your target flexible server with the databases deployed on the target flexible server as well. To begin with your online migration, you need to go ahead and click on new migration project. It's going to ask you for a few details. Start by entering your project name. The source server type, select Azure database for MySQL single server. The target server type is automatically set to Azure database for MySQL, which is nothing but your target flexible server. Select online data migration as the migration activity type, and you're good to hit create and run activity. Next, this opens up the MySQL data migration wizard, which is going to ask in for your source server details. You start with entering the subscription, the location of your single server, the resource group in which it is located, the source single server that you wish to migrate, and the password for that server. Next, you are prompted to enter your target flexible server details. Again, you select the subscription in which your target flexible server is, the location of the server, the resource group, and the target flexible server that you wish to migrate to, and the password. Next, you'll land on the Select Databases screen where you can select all the server objects that you wish to migrate, for example, views, triggers, events, and routines. You'll also see a list of databases on your source single server, as well as a message which will sort of indicate whether your database is available at the target server or not. So in this case, I can only go ahead and migrate to STB as it is the same database on the target flexible server as well. Next, hit select tables. This screen is going to list out all your tables within the database. And it's also going to migrate all of your table schema as well as data. So you're all set and you can go ahead and just click on review and start migration. The review screen is going to prompt you for an activity name. And after reviewing all your source and target server details, you're good to click on Start Migration. You can now see that monitoring the migration is going to show two tabs, the initial load and replicate data changes in case of an online migration. So my initial load is now running. And within a few seconds, I should be expecting a completed status. And it has moved on to the Replicate Data Changes section. 
This is where we are streaming your bin log changes. As soon as the seconds behind source near zero, you can go ahead and click on start cutover, check in confirm, and apply. The cutover is in progress, and within a few seconds, the cutover should be completed. So this is how simple it is to do an online migration and upgrade to your Flexible server. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. To learn more about how to upgrade your single server to Flexible server, do check out our announcement blog. And you'll find more tutorials on online and offline migration using Azure Database Migration Service on the Microsoft Learn documentation. With added benefits with the Azure Database for MySQL Flexible Server and single server on the retirement path, there's no better time to consider upgrading your single server instances using DMS. I wish all of you a very happy upgrade to the Flexible Server.